CataractCoach.com. This care tome just cannot penetrate. Is the issue of the young surgeon's technique, though, or something else? This is an anonymous resident who's operating this case. And this resident has some experience, but not a tremendous amount. And you can see the draping looks good, the eyes in primary, fixation ring looks nicely centered, and here comes the care tome starting to enter, making a reasonable ton of length. I like that. And let's look at that tip. When does this tip penetrate decimase? Um, let's see. No luck, no luck. Look at the eye slipping away. The fixation ring is unable to hold the eye. The ring is touching the corneal epithelium, unable to enter. Now, is the issue there the technique? Was the issue here actually something else? So let's watch carefully. So trying again with that keratome. Maybe you just need a little more force, right? Okay, so let's line it up again. And now make sure you're in the same plane, same path. You don't want to create a separate path. So slight wiggling of the blade left and right can help you ensure you're in that same initial pocket. You can see the tip there in the red reflex. The tip of that tunnel is you know, shaped like the tip of the blade, you know, triangular in shape. And that looks pretty good, but let's try one more time to penetrate here. Pushing, 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 and again, fixation ring slipping away. What do you do now? Do you try, like, use forceps to hold the eye? Do you, like, hook the paracentesis with a chopper or something? What are you going to do here to get that keratome in the eye? It just doesn't want to go. I think the technique's okay. I think the problem is the blade itself. A lot of times, you know, scrub tech may open those blade and put it on the OR ta on the mayo stand, and that tip of it <laughs> hits the table and gets dull. Or maybe it's a care term you've used for multiple surgeries already. It's already too dull. It needs to be replaced. So now it looks like the young doctor's called for a replacement care term to be opened. So replacement care term coming up. In the meantime, maybe putting some more viscoelastic in the eye. Let's see. Just kind of poking around at it. Draping's pretty good. A couple of lashes there at the top of your screen that are out of the drapes, but, you know, we'll forgive that. If you do have that situation with a couple of lashes there, just cut them off with the drape scissors and then just kind of wash off the surface of the eye. So now let's see. Fixation ring going down again, and now hopefully a new keratome. And again, you want to be in that same tunnel, that same initial path that you created. You don't want to be making a new path. So let's see. Fixation ring is a little too close to the keratome blade, by the way. You don't want, you want to have that keratome centered between the opening there. And look at that, it goes in so easy. What a difference. So if you have this situation where the blade just doesn't want to go in the eye, think carefully, it could be a very dull blade or the tip has been damaged. Here at the end of the case, everything looks great. I like the idea of putting a suture in because, of course, you're a young resident, you're still learning, you got to put the suture in. Plus, that incision's been through a lot and may not seal as well, so the suture is helpful. Let me take you back in time to an old video we had here on Cataract Coach that I had the same issue. CataractCoach.com, why is this blade so difficult to insert in the eye? Well, because the tip is bent. Look at the picture. So let me show you what happened here. We're making our incision with the paracentesis, and there goes the blade, and it's just so dull. It finally gets in the eye. I enlarge the incision so that I won't be oarlocked. There's that tip. And what happened was the technician inadvertently let the tip touch the operating room table there, her mayo stand. Now the keratome is in perfect uh, shape. It's nice and sharp, untouched. So you can see when we do this incision, it's much easier, much better uh, smoothness there. It goes in and out quite easily. So now the message is clear. If you have a case where the blade just doesn't want to enter the eye, think about a damaged blade and maybe get a replacement blade to make your life a whole lot easier. Thanks for watching.